three years of army service done, and I was heading home at last. I got to thinking about my dog and things long gone and past. How old Tig pulled me from the creek when I had no pulse or breath, and how he saved me from the charging bull that gored my dad to death. As a kid, I'd dream of bears and tremble to my toes, till old Tig came up to my bed and nudged me with his nose. Then my fears would melt away and Tig would go lie down. I'd drift on back to sleep without another sound. The big bus stopped and I got off. It was awful dark and thick with fog. Then something gently nuzzled me and there stood Tig, my dog. I wondered if my faithful dog had met the bus each day and all the dreary winter nights since I'd been away. To have Tig meet me like this, I was really, really glad. Cause I hadn't needed Tig so much since the day they buried Dad. Two long miles still lay ahead, but what I didn't know, a giant dam was being built where the old road used to go. I thanked the Lord for sending me Tig, and I followed where he led. Knowing well without his help, I'd be good as dead. I ginged along this way and that, going rough and slow, and I could hear the water lapping at the ledges far below. Then through the mist I saw the light and mother in her chair. I reached down to pet old Tig, but he wasn't there. I'm thankful, Mom, you had old Tig these three lonely years. I owe my life to him tonight. I couldn't help my tears. You say you wrote me about the dam. Well, God was sure with us. I didn't get your letter, Mum, but old Tig met the bus. I hate to tell you, son," she said, "but now you've got to know. When you left, it broke his heart. Tig died three years ago."